Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna show you how to replace the chain and take measurements of how to put on a new chain for your go-kart. And if you've been watching this channel for a while, you know that my go-kart hasn't been driving for a while because the chain keeps slipping off and I tried to fix it and I ended up measuring the wrong size for the little uh, connector link. And so, I ended up buying a new chain and I'm gonna show you what it takes and what measurements you should take to redo your entire chain on your go-kart. So let's get right into it. All right guys, so on the top here we have my old chain and on the bottom we have the new chain. And the difference between these two chains is the new chain um, down here is actually a little bit smaller in width uh, compared to the old chain. And so on the screen right now, I'm gonna put a chart right here of how you should measure your chain and so when I initially measured it I got 35 and so I ordered a connector link which I'll put on the screen right here to fit the old chain which ended up being a little bit more uh, a little bit wider so it wouldn't fit all the way and so because I had the general measurements figured out I ordered a three foot length chain of the number 35 and the connector which fits very well and so that's what I took to get the new chain measurement since my go-kart has no chain right now I'm gonna go ahead and put this new chain on but before we put on the new chain it's actually a little bit longer than this one so what I'm gonna have to do is take a couple links off so then I can get it to the right size to fit without it slipping off all the time so let's go ahead and do that all right guys, so here I have my chain breaker. And this is probably not one of the better ones you can buy, um, just because if you can see the end, um, it's not straight and it's it continues to go out. And so because it's like that, it can tend to pull out, um, you know, part of the chain and not get the, the center piece which holds the two chains together completely out. So this is not one of the better ones you can buy. I got this for like $15 and so um, it's gonna have to do for now. So let's go ahead and break the chain real quick. So to figure out how much chain I need to take off, I put it completely on as tight as I can, wrapped it around and as you can see, this is the bigger link that I need to take off uh, so then it can fit into here and so I'm gonna go ahead and break this and then hopefully everything should be good so right here is the chain link connector I'm going to be using this is an outer one, so make sure that both ends that you are connecting are the smaller inner ones, as you can see right here. If it'll want to focus, make sure it's one of these smaller inner ones because this is going to be the outer one, which I just dropped. <laughs> All right guys, so I ended up, I don't know if it caught it on camera, but I ended up putting on the link, uh, which is this one right here. And so what I found was the best way to put these uh, links on is grabbing a pair of pliers like these. And so to take it off, you would pinch it between uh, this one and the little end right there and then you can get it out and then when you want to put it back on uh, you pinch it between here and where the little connection in is and it should slip right on and so uh, when it comes to measuring the length that you need um, I suggest you know taking measurement of the old chain and getting an approximate length, um, this one was three feet. 
um, but they can go between like three, five, eight, and plus, you know, depending on, you know, your setup. Also, you know, they, they do charge you more for the longer length, so if you can minimize the length between your um, spracket or sprocket and your engine, uh, the better. Um, if anything, you can just wrap a tape measure around the clutch and then around your spindle and measure out an approximate length so you can get a length that way. Um, but otherwise, yeah, this thing is ready to go. It's tension pretty good. I got it at a good length. And so I'll have more how-to videos coming up, um, like how to change your oil in a Predator 212. Uh, because, you know, after 10 hours of driving, um, you do need to change your oil, which I have not done yet. So that would be a good video to have, um, you know, for my experience and for any of you guys looking to do that too. Uh, especially if you have stage one, um, you know, the more the more performance and the more you beat the crap out of your engine um, The more you need to maintain it and so the better maintain the better you maintain your engine the better it'll run so Yeah, that's it. I would drive the go-kart today uh, As you can see it's raining outside, so it's not the ideal conditions uh but you know, that's just kind of what we got to deal with right now. Uh, stay tuned if you want to see more progress on the go-kart. I'm going to have, um, you know, like I said, that another video coming up. And I have some other ones planned. Um, you know, I do want to repaint this thing soon, so we might begin that. But otherwise, I hope you guys found this uh, very helpful when it comes to doing your, uh, your go-kart chain. Also, if you guys have any questions... You know, if I forgot to mention something, like as far as the steps to take to put on um, a new chain, go ahead and leave it in the comments below. I'll be sure to get to you. And uh, yeah, just let me know if you have any questions. Otherwise, that's going to be a wrap for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys found this very useful, um, you know, for your go-karts or your, your for any of your other setups that you have going on. And I, I look forward to hearing from you if you have questions again. Go ahead and leave it in the comments below. Be sure to give this video a like, and I'll see you guys in the next one.